everyone, I'm using a 16 by 12 inch canvas and I'm going to do a Dutch pour method but I'm going to use a Payne's grey background. I've added a little bit of violet in just to see if I can get a shimmer of violet once it's dry. So as I layer the base, it's quite a fluid consistency. I'm using one part paint to one part water. And with my blow dryer, I always use a cool setting. So it's always on a cool setting, I don't use any heat. And I position the dryer right on top of the, the paint and blow it out. And it's probably one to two inches from the surface. I've just noticed some lumps within my paint so I'm just going to pick those out to begin with before I carry on. I try and always make sure that my, my paint on my canvas, so the first layer that I have is really consistent because I always feel that if you can get that right then the creation just flows as you create and layer the paints on top. If your base isn't right that's where it starts to fail. So I've got some air bubbles because I've just mixed up my paint so I just get rid of those with my torch and then I can layer the paints and get ready to blow out. So the way I'm going to layer the paints I almost want to create like a twist throughout the canvas. So I'm not going to do a straight line I'm almost going to do like a, a zigzag line which will then help me create that twist. So I'm using purples, violets and gold. I'll list all the colours in the description below. But what I always do, especially when I'm working on a dark base, I always layer one colour to give me a guide. So that line there is going to be my guide throughout this process. I'm going to ensure that the paints just layer completely on top of each other. And I want some bulk at each end because that's going to help create that vision and that image of a twist. And what you'll see is I'm applying quite a lot of gold. Now that gold, I think I'm going to call this the golden twist, but that gold is going to help me create some cells. There are no cell activators in this. Literally I'm using paint and water. And by using that gold, that will create the cells that I'm looking for. So every time I layer my paints, especially in a line or a zigzag like this, I always really have to be mindful that the amount of paint I'm putting onto the canvas, because I really want the paint to flow as I blow it out using my blow dryer. But too much paint will almost, almost create that confusion for me of getting that negative space balance with the design. So I do try in this kind of design to minimise the paint that I layer on top because I don't want to waste too much and blow it all over the sides. And what you'll see is I'm just using some of the base paint here now just to go around that design just to help with that flow. So as I blow out with the blow dryer it's going to help the flow of that paint on top go into the directions that I want it to go into. I'll just minimise the air bubbles, so I'm just using my torch to just go over that creation to get rid of those air bubbles, and then I'm going to blow the base paint into the colours, and then I'll blow out the design. Okay, and this is the exciting part. I always kind of step back and think, <gasps> here we go, what's it going to look like with that first blow? And then you just have to go in and just see what you can create because we never know how that paint's going to react. We, we, have a, we have an idea, but we never truly know until that air hits that surface. So as I blow it out, I do take my time, I step back and I have a look at the composition as I go. There's obviously some things in my mind that I think, right, I want to change that section or I want to amend that section with a little bit more paint. And that's totally okay. We can always scrape paint off the surface and we can also add more on and blow it out again.
Once I've done this first blow, you'll see that I'm then looking at the composition and taking some of the other colours off the side to create some block of negative space. I really love how the Payne's Grey background reacts with the colours on top. It almost looks 3D and helps it pop. So this is the part where I really look at the composition and I really look at the design as I step back. And there are some parts I blow out even more. That's because I've noticed that there might be puddles of paint within one section and I really need to blow that out because I want the creation to dry consistently. If there are major puddles of paint in certain areas than in other areas, then there is that higher chance of cracking. I just have a closer look just to see what the design looks like and have a think about where I need to kind of amend it further. There are sections I really do want to remain in a block kind of negative space which is the section that I'm blowing out here and if the blow dryer doesn't get it then I have to go in with my mouth and just blow gently along the edges to create kind of that pattern and that composition that I think suits the design better. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this, but what I'm going to do now is you'll see that I'm using my palette knife just to go along the bottom edge. That's where the drips of paint are. I'm taking the drips of paint off those edges because I don't want the paint to pull my design from the surface over the edge and down. So here we go, close up wet version. <gasps> I absolutely love the gold. I don't, I think initially I was thinking maybe I was a bit too heavy handed with the gold. There's going to be too much, but do you know what? No, I love this. This is the golden twist with that very subtle hint of the purples and the violets. I love some of the cell formation. I really love that I've gone over the corners just on two, two corners and yeah, let's see how it dries. Here we go dried version so what I will say is this isn't varnished I always apply a high gloss spray varnish on top so let me let me just go in a little bit further I love that area with all those colors just there I really really I really really actually enjoy this color palette so yeah I might work with this again I really hope you've had fun watching if you try this, then tag me in your post. I'd love to see what you create. Thank you so much for all of your support and for watching me today. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.